Effective management of freshwater resources relies on obtaining good data on the water cycle of catchment areas. That means data on available surface water resources from rivers, lakes and reservoirs, groundwater and the potential contribution of rain and snow. It also means determining water lost, mainly from evaporation, evapotranspiration, abstraction to supply cities and irrigation for agriculture. Most of these parameters can be observed by satellites. The SWOT program will give scientists and water managers a new database called HydroWeb NG, pooling all satellite data useful to water resource management. These data will mainly come from nadir-looking satellites like Jason-3 or Sentinel-3, measuring the height of major rivers and lakes. SWOT, measuring river height, width, slope and flow. Lake height, surface area and volume. SMOS, measuring soil moisture at low resolution at frequent intervals. And Sentinel-1, measuring soil moisture at high resolution. Snow cover data will come from Pleiad and Sentinel-2 satellite imagery. Rain intensity and volume from the Megatropic satellite. And land cover maps and the location of water bodies from the Sentinel-1 and Sentinel-2 satellites. Lastly, ocean color data from a range of satellites such as Sentinel-2 will round off this data set. The HydroWeb NG database will drive a multidisciplinary approach to gain a closer understanding of the water cycle, track it over time and thus help to manage water resources more effectively. Ultimately, it will also incorporate in situ data and provide a modeling component to predict the status of our planet's water resources.